Hi friends, do you know the biggest thing out inside that you get the light from? Did you say the sun? This is the sun gives us the most light outside and it helps the moon too, right? We learned that this week. So this is Sun, One in a Billion by Stacy McCormick. It tells all about the sun. Look at that sun. Once upon a time, about 4.6 billion years ago, a magnificent, a magnificent and important star was born. And that magnificent and important star was me, your son, with a capital S. Yes, I am a star, star, a massive and luminous ball of gas full of energy. Two, an outstandingly talented and popular performer. I fit both descriptions. The Milky Way galaxy has over 100 billion stars. That makes me one in a billion, or um, one in a hundred billion. I'm not the biggest, so what? Not the brightest, who cares? Not the oldest, whatever. But I am the most important, at least to you earthlings. Can you go, can you hang out for eight minutes? That's how long it takes my light to reach Earth. Yep, I give you heat and light. You're welcome. I'm so important that eight earthlings should name a special day in my honor. We can call it Sunday. Oh, wait. You have a Sunday, don't you? I'm famous for my heat and light, but I also hold our entire solar system together. Science call, scientists call it gravity. What can I say? The planets are attracted to me. And because I'm the center of our solar system, life revolves around me, literally. This is Neptune and Saturn and Uranus and Venus and Earth and Mars and Jupiter and Mercury. And here is the sun. They all go in the same direction. So they all go around the sun like that. Those are, those other stars are far, far away from Earth, which makes them look teeny tiny and not so important. I'm close, a mere 93 million miles from Earth. To an Earthling, I look like this. But to Neptunians, I'm 2,795 million miles away, and I look like this, this big blue thing. If there were Neptunians, there's no known life on Neptune. Technically, I'm a yellow dwarf star, but I'm still a big, big deal. If I were the size of a basketball, Earth would be smaller than a grain of sand. You could fit about one million Earths inside of me. But you can't fill me with Earths because I'm hot stuff. A hot summer day is 90 degrees. A pizza oven is 700 degrees. The orange yellow flames on a campfire, about 2000 degrees. Me? About 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface. I can melt diamonds. Me at my center? 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty hot. Ancient earthlings thought I circled the earth. Can you imagine me revolving around earth? And some might think that, it, that I sit in the sky all day and all night. But I got moves, baby. I'm spinning. And because I'm not solid, my middle moves faster than my top and bottom. Don't try this at home. About 25 day, Earth days to rotate and about 36 Earth days to rotate. I'm not only important, I'm generous and good looking. 
It says my sunrises and sunsets. Ah, sit back and enjoy the show. There's the northern lights and the southern lights. Sometimes I like to be mysterious and sneak away for a few minutes. Solar eclipses, but don't worry, I'm just behind the moon. While I'm astronomically bigger than the moon, 400 times wider, the moon is astronomically closer to Earth, almost 400 times closer. My neighbor stars have fancy names. Meet Proximia Centauria, Alpha Centauria A, and Alpha Centauria B. Me, Ina, just need three letters. Give me an S, give me a U, give me an N, and what do you get? Sun, 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 he's our star, light and heat from afar. Please note, that's a capital S. I am important. Not to hog the spotlight, but I've still got it. I'm the same hot, bright star I've always been. So, grab your shades. I plan to be in the biz for another six billion years. You and me, we've got a bright future together. The end. And that's our sun. The sun is a star in the sky, and it is a bright one that heats up and lights our world. I'll see you all soon. Bye.